welcome once again in the third presentation of derivative somewhere in books uh, friend you may see derivative as a differentiation also so derivative and differentiation both are the same thing right and now what is first principle here is written something first principle right so in previous video what we learned to find the derivative of function f of x suppose we, we, we write like this f of x sorry f prime x means uh, we also learn like this dy by dx right is equals to limit when h tends to zero somewhere in books you you may see delta x tends to zero both are the same thing h or delta x both have the same meaning means a small change right is equals to f of x plus h minus f of x whole divided by h right this we have to learn uh, uh, sorry we learned in previous video right exactly right if you find the derivative of a function by using this formula or by this method then that method of finding the derivative is called the first principle right or front of uh, or you are finding the derivative from the first principle method somewhere uh, you see uh, some people also say it's as a delta method also or some people also say it as a ab initial method right so you can uh, say anything right but first principle is uh, much more famous so it's the same thing that we had done in the previous uh, just a second presentation of derivative also it is the same thing we have find out the derivative uh, of uh, function some function i forget the function name right by the uh, by the first principle right so uh, now here in this video we're going to find out the differentiation with the first principle let me take a uh, example uh, let me suppose mm, y equals to suppose 1 upon x square right or uh, you can say it is f of x also it's the same thing right so our function is 1 upon x square so we're going to find the differentiate uh, we're going to find out uh, or dif going to differentiate this uh, by using the first principle so how its graph will be right it's not necessary to know the graphs of every figure right but uh, to make you more understood uh, I'm drawing this figure right it will be something like this okay it's very steeper there and then very close oh not it's not exactly it will be like this very close steeper and very close to almost at the bottom almost right so they are almost going to touching like this it, it is it is exactly y equals to 1 upon x square or our function right you will get the figure like this of this graph so this y axis and this is my x axis right now we need to find out the derivative or a at any point at x point so it's the same thing that the tangent at that point <laughs> it's not the tangent right tangent at that point tangent at that point or suppose this point then tangent at that point will give you the derivative exactly right uh, of this function or you can say the slope of the tangent at this point right is the derivative or you can also say the rate of changing of this this curve at that point exactly at that point will give you the derivative of this by any means you understand right uh, fine so uh, let me take this point right uh, let me say this p point and a small a very small distance uh, this here uh, let me suppose q point so this p point is sub somehow x distance away and this q point bit dis uh, means the distance between this p and q point is uh, delta x you can say or you can say h also whatever you suppose right so so the um, um, so uh, so I mean uh, the y coordinate of this p will be uh, f of x and the y coordinate of this q point will be f of x plus h again I'm taking h right you can take delta x also right so now uh, le let's find out directly here here right so f of x f prime of x means derivative of x is equals to limit I'm directly using now formula and going ahead right delta x uh, no, no no let me suppose h tends to zero I feel that's comfortable right so limit s tends to 0 1 upon x square Th that's our function right so let me first uh, write the formula that is f of x plus h minus f of x whole divided by h right so uh, now I can write f of x as like this also uh, dy 
not not why exactly I'm writing here the derivative of the function f of uh, f of x with respect to x right is limit when h tends to 0 f of x plus h right f of x plus h in, in this function uh, f of x plus h if you just put the uh, in the place this is f of x right uh, so it will be if you just plug the value in, in the place of function here here as a x if you plug the value x plus h x plus h if you plug here in this function then you will get 1 upon x plus h whole square so it is 1 upon x plus h whole square minus if you just plug the x then you will get uh, 1 upon x square right so we completed our first that is exactly the difference of x this this part is exactly the difference in y to the difference in x is simply the h here right so again limit when h tends to 0 1 upon x plus h right uh, I think uh, you have uh, learned in the fraction chapter that that is something 1 upon 2 minus 1 upon 3 we take the LCM or simply what we do we used to write here 6 or uh, you can say we used to do like this 2 times 3 right it's uh, it's multiplication 3 minus 2 we used to do in the same way we're doing over here right so it will be x square minus x plus h whole square divided by x plus h whole square times x square and the whole divided by h right uh, I think you know this you are perfect in this right so limit h tends to 0 now what it will be x square minus now see x plus h here it will be working as a, a plus b whole square and we know the formula of a plus b whole square that is a square plus 2ab plus b square right exactly this form I'm going to use here but taking bracket so don't forget to take the bracket uh, if you don't take the bracket if there is minus in front uh, right then it will be mistake so x square plus 2x h plus h square right whole divided by now this both will come this part and this whole part will come downstairs right so whole divided by x plus h whole square times x square times h right so again limit when h tends to 0 right now I can break this uh, means uh, I can uh, now I can open this bracket so x square minus x square minus 2xh minus h square whole divided by x plus h whole square times x square times h right so uh, I'm, I, uh, what I get over here I can cut my positive x square with negative x square right and finally I will get here uh, limit when h tends to 0 minus I can take common minus h I can take common because here is also h here is also h so minus h will come uh, I can take this common and I will get here 2x plus h whole divided by x plus h whole square times x square times h so again what I get here I can uh, let me change color I can cut this h and h right and I will get here limit h tends to 0 2x plus h whole divided by x plus h whole square and x square now I can easily insert the value of h and if I will insert the value of h I'm going to get here 2x plus 0 and x plus 0 whole square times x square that is 2x upon x square times x square now I can cut this x square right this x with 1x so I'll get 2 divided by x cube right so what we get the derivative right so f prime or of x a derivative of x or you can say dy by dx is equals to 2 upon x cube I think there was somewhere minus also right this minus I forget here this minus overall is this minus this is overall this minus right okay so what we get minus 2 upon x cube this is the derivative of the function 
1 upon x square right from the 1 upon x square from the first principle right I hope uh, now you can easily do right simply uh, replace the x uh, means just take the value of x plus or, or delta delta x also you can take and easily you can find out here now what we get the derivative is mm, dy by dx is equals to minus 2 upon x cube right so if you just put any value you t you take any value of x here uh, suppose 2 or 3 or 4 any any value you took and you'll get the slope at that point exactly or the slope of the tangent at that point if you take here you'll take here if you, if you just plus, uh, put your 1 uh, or whatever you will take so then you'll get minus 2 upon 1 cube that is minus 2 here you get it's it, it will tell you the exactly the slope at that point how it is changing right well, or rate uh, rate of the function uh, rate of the changing of the function exactly the derivative so you will get that thing right so in next video we will be getting uh, some uh, more problems or uh, you, you will be doing more problems and clearing our concepts right so I hope you'll be joining me in the next video also bye bye